Representatives from more than 120 countries continue their negotiations in Scotland at the COP26 to reach that elusive goal of capping global warming at 1.5 degrees. A couple of big pledges made in this summit. The first one is that a number of countries, including important countries like Brazil, like Indonesia, the US, China and Russia, have agreed to stop deforestation by 2030. Now, whether or not this pledge will make any difference remains to be seen because we already have a 2014 agreement to stop deforestation and that has done nothing to even slow deforestation around the world. Another big global commitment is the pledge that is pushed by US President President Joe Biden on slashing methane emissions around the world. Now, this should be an important pledge to help get greenhouse gas emissions lower. However, it looks unlikely that the global leaders at the COP26 summit will be able to reach an agreement to slow down the consumption of coal, which is right now the dirty fuel that makes up more than 70% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The mood here at COP26 in Glasgow is desperate and urgent and somewhat pessimistic because as we can see, leaders of the wealthiest nations came out of G20 in Rome last week without a strong and firm commitment towards climate change. And the other thing that I just need to underline is just that every year these climate conferences, they produce more and more pledges. However, many of those pledges remain unfulfilled, including the pledge by wealthy nations to provide developing nations with $100 billion per year of climate financing to help them mitigate the impacts of climate change, to help them move towards more renewable energies. And up to this point, much of that money has not materialized. Reporting from Glasgow, Scotland, I'm Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News.